sunshine, summer months and a little tipple with friends. It's almost as traditional as the British weather. And while health warnings over the risks associated with drinking are nothing new, finding a way to deliver that message is, with MPs demanding that more's done to make us listen. Top of the list is replacing simple guidance on alcohol content with cigarette-style health warnings, nutrition advice, even calorie contents. Are you aware of the health risks of having a pint? Aware of them, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, not taking that much noise. <laughs> I don't even look at calories on food labelling or anything, so I'm definitely not going to start looking on drinks. At the end of the day, if we listened to everything that we were warned about, we wouldn't do anything. And while these drinkers will continue to drink, alcohol regulators feel some of the measures are a step too far. I think the, the labelling information is already on there. We're doing that voluntarily. I think these sort of really graphic health warnings are, are definitely a step too far. I mean, the majority of us do drink responsibly. Um, but equally, those, those who don't need a different sort of help and support and treatment. And it's not just about targeting those who like a tipple. It's also about tackling the messages we're being sold on alcohol. From reducing the glamorous adverts to cutting sports sponsorship to remind us that alcohol misuse lands 1.2 million people in hospital each year and that liver disease in those under 30 has more than doubled in the past 20 years at an estimated £21 billion cost to the economy. Some of the recommendations we've seen coming out recently from, from various bodies reflect this increased concern with perhaps middle-aged, middle-class drinkers as well as purely uh, teenage binge drinkers. Of course, this isn't the first time attempts have been made to encourage us to change our ways, but it is an attempt to reiterate a message that many just don't want to hear. Claire Ashforth, Five News.